Hey guys, it's your Jamaican natural L'Oreal. Well, go on. How are you today? Um, this is my 17 weeks <clears throat> pregnancy vlog, and um, I try to get all dressed up for you guys, like do my hair real neat, put on some makeup, put on some earrings, but I'm feeling so under the weather. For 17 weeks I have a severe headache are you ladies having headaches as well I'm having like a severe headache and the thing about me is that I don't want to take over the counter drugs for it so I don't want to like take Panadol or Advil or Tylenol or anything like that for my headache because I'm fully aware that everything that I put into my body half of it goes to the baby so I don't want to take anything for my headache so you might call it torture <laughs> but I'm trying to ride it out I try to drink a lot of water and get a lot of rest and then my three-year-old she went to school and she caught the cough or cold and now I'm kind of stuffy so add that to some headache for 17 weeks that's basically it for 17 weeks <laughs> just having a lot of headaches just headaches and lots of headaches I mean, i would think that i'm hungry and i would eat something thinking that maybe i need to eat something to feel better um but after eating the headache comes right back i'll get some sleep fall asleep wake up and I still have the headache. I mean, it's severe. It's really, 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 really hurting. Um, for 17 weeks, I'm feeling a lot more movement. Um, I'm getting a lot of kicks here, kicks there. Um, it's not strong <laughs> and powerful, but I can definitely tell that okay, he's kicking or she's kicking. So I can definitely um, feel some movement for 17 weeks. Um, um, some persons have been wondering how much water is enough water because as a, a mom to be or you know that you're supposed to drink some water <clears throat> sorry but you're wondering okay how much water should I drink what's the amount of water for me I drink this much I drink uh, this much water a day and then when it's night time, I'm still thirsty, so I'll drink like about half. So I drink about this much water. I don't know how much ounces this, I don't know. But this is the amount that I drink. And then in the nights, I drink like about half. Half of it. Um, yeah. Um, fruits make sure that you eat a lot of fruits banana orange um, apple grapes I don't know of any fruits that's not safe during pregnancies but if you do know of any I mean comment below and let me know but because I eat just about everything banana grapes tangerine um, pear apple pineapple I eat just about anything um, so I would encourage you to drink more water, um, eat more fruits, definitely eat more fruits at least once a day or two times in the day, one in the morning and then one at bedtime, probably a banana or, or an apple at night. Um, I definitely say, um, if you're at 17 weeks, some persons may be having back aches, yeah, their lower back starting to hurting that's okay it's because you know your tummy is getting bigger so the whole gravity shift yeah the whole gravity shift so your back may be hurting um you can just lay on your side ask your partner or your husband or your boyfriend whomever that's there with you to just rub your lower back not too hard because you know pregnant women are not supposed to have a lot of pressure on their back so just let him rub it or her rub it for you um just to ease the, the pain and as I mentioned at 16 weeks definitely get a pregnancy pillow or um, 
um, get more than one pillow to sleep with one at your neck one in between your thigh and one at your back that helps to ease the pressure from your back so if you're having back aches um, definitely stock up on pillows or get yourself a big pregnancy pillow all right that's it for 17 weeks um, nothing much really other than the headaches yeah lots of headaches and I choose not to take tablets for my headaches I choose to just eat fruits and drink more water um, that's it that's basically it and just the headaches and I get a little bit more fetal movement um, for 17 weeks um, when I touch 20 weeks I'm supposed to be going in for an, another checkup I think that's where we're gonna do the ultrasound to um, figure out the sex of the baby but we won't <laughs> we won't be finding it out until birth because with my previous pregnancy um, we found out that it was a girl and on that day I swear I'm like I'm never if I should get pregnant again I'm never going to find out what the, the gender is. I want it to be a surprise. I want to be like, oh my God, it's another girl. <laughs> oh my God, it's a boy. What am I going to do? <laughs> Thing like that. So we're not going to tell you the, the gender until we have him or her with us. And um, we'll definitely introduce them to you or her. I keep saying him because I think it's a boy. <laughs> well, I'm hoping it's a boy. All right, that's basically it. Um, what's my measure? Oh my! Oh my! I left my inch measure. I was gonna do a um, measure for you to show you if I've gone an inch or two, but I don't have it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, one more thing. I know they're saying that you're supposed to gain a pound a week. I'm not really following up on that. I'm not too stressing about it. I don't jump on the scale every week or at the ending of every week to see if I'm um, gaining a pound. I don't. I encourage you not to stress about it. If you find that you're losing weight during your pregnancy, just speak with your doctor. Let him or her know your concerns. If you're not gaining the weight, that if you're getting like a half pound a week, it's okay. Don't stress about it because if you stress, then your baby's going to stress as well. For me personally, I just avoid the scale altogether until I go for my regular checkups. If the nurse doesn't say to me, oh, you're losing weight, then I know that it's fine. What I try to do is just to eat my meals on time, my breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks in between, <laughs> and um, eat my fruits. Um, lots of persons are talking about um, exercise. I think yoga even though I don't do it I think that's the safest one in pregnancy because it's not too much um, aerobic or cardio because if you're going to do a lot of aerobic or running or so it burns fat and when you burn fat it's not good for the baby the toxin that it released is not good so if you're gonna do any exercise I suggest yoga and stretching um, yeah Right, let's go to the belly shot. <laughs> okay. Oh, I found it. <laughs> come to you. The last time I think I was 36, that was last week, so I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> 
to be um, 36 and a half, close to 37 for 17 weeks. Um, yeah, um, that's it, guys. Apart from the headache and the stuffy nose, everything is okay. I hope it is okay with you as well. I mean, if there's any questions that you'd like me to answer for you, just comment. I always um, reply, always, always reply. Um, or you can subscribe. I also do, um, I have a channel on um, natural hair. And this is a flat twist. Yeah. I did a tutorial, or it's just side a little bit. I did a tutorial on how to do a two strand twist. I'm going to do one right now on how to do a flat twist. So if you haven't subscribed as yet, you can totally go ahead and do that. Bye guys. I see you next week when I am 18 weeks and counting. Bye.